the Uvalde School Police Chief Pete Arredondo did not have his police radio with him at the scene. As with other recent updates, this one came from State Senator Roland Gutierrez, who says he got it from DPS investigators. It was also Gutierrez and not DPS who revealed yesterday that Chief Arredondo was not told about 911 calls coming from inside classrooms where students were found dead and wounded. We do not know why the chief did not have his radio or if there was any radio communication with other officers staged in the hallway. A special committee in the Texas House will investigate the police response. A separate committee in the state Senate will look at broader issues like school safety, mental health, and firearm safety. Fox 4's Sean Rabb talked to State Senator Royce West, who is on that Senate committee. The goal is supposed to look at where we are as it relates to school safety in the state in light of the fact that Texas is ground zero, uh, unfortunately, for all of these uh, domestic terrorist attacks on our schools. As the sad funeral processions continue from the Robb Elementary School shooting in Uvalde that took 21 lives, 19 kids, two teachers, now the second deadliest school shooting in our nation's history, Governor Greg Abbott directing committees organized to look at how to better keep Texans safe especially our schools. State Senator Royce West, named to the Senate committee, says the shooters seem to have two things in common, the weapons they used and their personality profiles. We've got to look at our mental health system again, okay? We've got to look at uh, the, the structure of our schools, the, the, the programming in our schools in order to keep kids safe. And we've got to look at the issue concerning uh, uh, weapons in the state of Texas. West says studies show people want action, but is realistic about how far that action may go. The fact is, is that they are for red flag laws. They're, they're for background checks. They're for a cooling off period. They're for raising the age, and I, a whole litany of things. Now, will those issues get addressed by this committee? I can't tell you that they will get addressed. I can tell you that they will be raised. The committees called by the governor for now, rather than a special session, as many voices have asked. Now approaching the second week in June, is there time for concrete plans to protect our schools, students, and teachers? That is our job as legislators, as leaders of the state, to deal with these types of emergency situations in our state, to assure Texans that when there's kids go back to school, that they will be protected against these types of attacks.